Conditional highlighting works a little like the if function, but rather than displaying a result like yes or no, it highlights cells in a color or text style of your choosing. So here in my duration example, let's set a conditional highlight for the times in each day. I'm going to select those cells, and then in the cell tab of the format inspector, click the conditional highlighting button and then add a rule. Here there are a few categories to select from. I'm going to choose durations. I want to highlight the cells in which the time listed is over 45 minutes. So I'll add a greater than rule and enter 45 minutes. Hit return and all the cells that I selected that are greater than 45 get highlighted. I can adjust the look of the highlight with this menu. I can only affect the text, assign a different color for the fill, or create a custom highlight with text and fill formatting. Multiple conditional highlighting rules can be added. I'm going to add a less than 30 minutes rule that will get a red highlight. Then I'm going to add one more, that's a less than 25 minutes rule, and highlight it in red text with a black background. That doesn't show up right away because Rule 2 is currently overruling Rule 3 here. So what I need to do is move Rule 3 on top of Rule 2 by clicking and dragging. Now the red text with black background highlight appears in the correct cell. If this data changes and activates or deactivates any conditional highlights, the changes will occur immediately. To remove a conditional highlighting rule, make sure your cells are all selected, and hover over the rule, and then click the trash icon here. 